Hello everyone, um, today I'm at the Greyfriars uh, Churchyard in Edinburgh so that we can go and take a look at some of the names that inspired characters um, for JK Rowling when she was in Edinburgh and writing uh, the first version of the books. Um, as you can see there are certain characters um, who have a gravestone so we're going to go and take a look. Um, you can see there the Potter, Scrimger, Crookshanks, um, McGonagall, Cornelius, Moody, Black and Riddle. Um, this map you can actually pick up from um, the shop in the Kirkyard. Um, Kirkyard means churchyard. So if you go into um, the, the churchyard you'll see there's a store in the middle and it's just 50p for the map. I think it's worth it because the graveyard is quite big. Um, there's a lot of places and there's always lots of tour groups because they do lots of different tours here like ghost tours and historical tours and obviously Harry Potter versions of it. Um, and just down there we'll try and get a look at um, the Elephant Cafe, which is where JK would sit and overlook the graveyard and write some of her stories. So um, it's a good day out, just something to come and take a look at while you're looking around historical Edinburgh. Something separate to note is there's a theory that um, in Edinburgh, when people come to this particular graveyard, that they are inspired by the dead. It's a way that the theory is that it's the spirits are inspiring people to continue their stories in some way or another. So um, it's just interesting that a lot of uh, works of fiction have come from people who have come to this place and um, and felt some sort of inspiration. So Mary Shelley's sort of um, Frankenstein or Dracula um, and there's a lot of um, obviously Harry Potter. So there's a lot of different um, bits of work. I think if you look it up, I'll try and see if I can find anything else to tell you about um, all sort of people who felt inspired when they came around you. So um, depends if you believe that the, the spirits in the afterlife have a story to tell. Okay, so we're at um, the Daniel Scrimger, which is obviously Rufus Scrimger in Harry Potter. This is the first stone. But you can see how that could be quite an interesting name. Um, to use in the book just because it's it's even a little bit difficult to read but it just sounds like a very cool name so yeah this is the first stop on a tour it's just next to the the kirkyard you can come and take a look okay so now we're at the famous potter surname which here you can see someone named robert potter and um, it's a bit not difficult to find because i think i get confused as in it says there it's giles um, so I kind of walked past it a couple of times until I figured out actually maybe there was more than one name on this plaque. Um, so yeah, so here's the inspiration, Robert Potter, um, for the famous Potter surname. Um, and yeah, you can see the name James is on there. Um, even Arthur is up there, like Arthur Weasley. I'm trying to show you over there. There's James Potter. Well, I guess it's Giles, but James. So a lot of the names are actually on the same place. So the name Arthur obviously came up a couple of times. Um, and the name James is on here. So yeah, Robert Potter. This is uh, one which is almost impossible to see. So just so that you know, you can see just over there, it says Crookshank. Um, almost impossible to make out, but that is where Crookshank, Hermione's cat, got the name from. Um, very, very difficult to see. Maybe over time it's just worn away even more, but this is as you come in the entrance of the graveyard on um, your right hand side, so it could be easily missed. And just keep your eyes up, really. Okay, so we've come through this sort of um, archway in the theatre, uh, in the theatre, sorry, um, in the graveyard where you can see here, I don't know if I should be standing on the grass, I'm just going to do a quick. Um, it's very hard to see, but you can see the name Cornelius, as in Cornelius Fudge. So, um, another place to, to get a bit of inspiration. Um, this is a very important one. Professor McGonagall um, is named after this character, which is well, actually a real person, William McGonagall. But because she is Scottish, and this is a very Scottish name, um, you can find this park at the corner of the graveyard, um, in the courtyard of course, but really great uh, inspiration. It's a very small park. Yes. 
Okay, and so now we've got Moody. You can see there Elizabeth Moody, which obviously is Mad Eye Moody, um, which is spelled slightly differently. But again, another inspiration for another character from the same location. There's a lot of people on various tours enjoying a bit of Harry Potter knowledge. A very popular family showing up here, so the surname Black for Sirius Regulus. We obviously seen the Black family tree, uh, which obviously connects the, the strangers. So here is a very important um, tombstone to have thought about. Um, yeah, quite a nice short name that gives uh, no indication whether that thing is good or bad. Even though I guess the idea of uh, negative and positive comes with colours. Uh, Very big uh, tombstone. I don't know if you can get it from the size of this. There's a whole lot of them. This whole churchyard is very beautiful. Nice place to be resting. Okay, we're at the final stop here, which is um, the Tom Riddle uh, tomb, which you can see Thomas Riddle Esquire and his son and Christian Riddle. And um, sorry, there's lots of people and kids who are very excited uh, to come here to see this tombstone. What's interesting is that. Um, two of the biggest characters from the Harry Potter series, as in the Potters, as well as um, you know, Lord Voldemort, is, uh, are represented from here. So inspiration for two very main characters came from one graveyard. And there's lots to see and lots to hunt for, so enjoy it.